Hiya, welcome back to my channel. So today I thought I would do a little like roundup of 2017 and just a few of like highlights and things that happened and yeah just a roundup of 2018 and then maybe like a hopes and goals and things to look forward to in 2018, that kind of stuff. Not resolutions but just sort of like some ideas for 2018 and yeah just do a general overview like it's the start of a new year just do an overview of the last year and then what's to come for this year I did mention that I might have done one of these videos in my last video which was my dis October, November, December favourites so I'll link that if you want to watch that but I did mention briefly now I might do one of these videos and I thought why not just do a quick chatty video giving you a rundown of my past year and what I hope will be my future year so I'm just going to start off by saying 2017 wasn't one of my favourite years to, like, to look back on. To, I don't know how to word it, but I wrote a blog post last March explaining some like family things that went on. And again, I'll link that if you want to go and have a look at it. But I don't really like to talk about that stuff too much in depth because I like that it's upsetting so I don't want to talk about it. But yeah, if you want to find out more just go and read that blog post. But that happened and then some other like life things happened and I wasn't like happy quite a few times in the year and I was sort of thinking I hated 2017 but I decided to do a blog post about the year and looking at it in review and I just went through all the photos I had from the year and I actually do have a lot of moments that I loved in the year so although 2017 wasn't one of my favourite years I do have a lot of wonderful moments from that year if that makes sense um, so if you want to have a look at that highlights post of all my pictures and stuff I got up to this year then I'll link that so you can have a look at that if you fancy it but yeah that gives you an overview of everything that I've done in the year but aside from that, I have written a little list of a couple of topics to cover for this year, last year, last year now, and next year, this year, I'm so confused. I do have a little list of things to cover and to chat to you about. So the first of those is like life favourites. Obviously there's most of like my highlights, well not most of all of my highlights are in the blog post I just mentioned, but just to pick out a few key things that I love this year, I have been on some amazing trips. I went to Mexico and where else did I go? Barcelona, I went to Austria and did like a European road trip and we went to New York at Christmas time and I was bridesmaid to one of my longest best friends like I don't know how to describe that but like basically we've been best friends since we started school so yeah I was bridesmaid for her in Austria which was like the most wonderful thing ever and what else did we do this year? We did things like going up the Shard, we spent, we had our obviously our lovely house, it's our first full year like day January 1st to December the 31st living in our house which was exciting and it's like our first full year of me and Luke living together which was really exciting and we did loads of house improvements and yeah there's just been so many like nice moments in the year and you can obviously check out more of those in the blog post but those are just a few of my key things for last year that I loved. Moving on to fashion favourites now I have looked back at my blog and I haven't posted anywhere near as many posts this year as I have in previous years of my blog. I started my blog, I can't remember if it was 2012 or 2011, but whichever one, this year is the, or well, last year now, 2017, is the least I've ever posted on my blog and also I haven't posted as much on my YouTube channel purely because of like life things that have gone on. I haven't really felt like blogging or YouTubing as much, especially at the first half of the year. So I don't have as much like fashion outfits to look back on to see what I was wearing. So I've had a little scroll from my Instagram which has got most of like photos of what I wore. So that is where I'm basing like my memories of what I wore this year and my favourite things from my wardrobe. I have three coats that have been my absolute like die hard favourite coats of the year. And I mentioned one of them in my previous video which was my favourites video and that is my Topshop Shearling Sheepskin whatever you call it jacket and I love that to death it's just I'm so glad I bought it. So my new look camel I don't know how to describe it but sort of like 
straight up and down coat I don't know how else to describe it but I'll put pictures in so you can see it and um, my camel coat I've worn that so much and my new look trench coat which again I've worn to death those three coats oh and also my pink misguided bomber jacket I l have loved that coat this year I was really unsure about whether it went with anything or like how to wear it or whatever um at the early half of this year but then I started to wear it more and more and I absolutely love it so yeah four coats have been absolute fashion favourites this year I think coats have been tip top for me I've like really really found some coats that I think I'll keep for a long time because they're really really nice there's been two bags that I bought this year and I absolutely adore and both are from Zara actually the first is the straw pom-pom bucket bag that everyone had and oh, I love that bag so much and then the second is my like cream woven I don't know how else to describe it faux leather backpack from Zara both are perfect for the summer and yeah just amazing bags and hopefully I can get some more Zara bags this year I'm on the hunt actually at the moment for a new hand like a daily handbag so if you see any good ones in the shops then do let me know because I think I need a new one I also have four summer dresses that I, I think it's four that I've absolutely adored this year so the first is my misguided blue maxi dress and I did have a bit of a problem with this where I washed it as per the washing instructions and it completely shrunk so I had to return it and get a refund but I bought it again I thought I'm gonna like hand wash it cold like if I have to <laughs> from now on because I really really love it so I bought it again despite the issues I had but yeah I, I love that dress so much and then I also bought two Topshop slip dresses I bought a blue one and a pink one and I absolutely love those those ones have been on my blog those some of these things actually have got blog posts so I absolutely love those two and then the final one is the blue check this one's been on my blog as well blue check gingham it's called like a beach dress that I bought from ASOS but I love that as well and in general gingham I've wanted to add more gingham to my wardrobe this year I didn't find as many pieces that like I liked but I added that and then also a bralette that I absolutely love so yeah gingham was a big favourite of mine in the summer and hopefully it comes around again because I do like a bit of gingham in terms of shoes once again I've worn Converse to death this year and I will continue to do so in 2018 and for heels I have one particular pair that I absolutely love and Luke bought them for me I think it was for our anniversary and they are a pair, I haven't posted them anywhere but they are a pair of pink office like pointed faux suede stilettos and I love them so much they do hurt a bit but pain is beauty and all that and I love them so much so they're probably like my top shoes of the year I would say they're my most worn but they are my favourites moving on to travel now and in 2017 I was lucky enough to travel quite a bit and I looked back at the 2017 like hello post that I put on my blog like this time last year and I said in there oh I don't know how much we're going to be able to travel this year because um, I knew we were going to Austria for my best friend's wedding so I didn't know how much travel we would actually be able to do but we managed to squeeze in quite a bit we booked a like fuck it let's go trip to Mexico in April after everything happened at the start of the year we were like sort of we're just going away um, so that was amazing and then for our birthday presents to each other we went to Barcelona which was incredible I've, I'll link any like videos or anything in the description box for these trips if you haven't already seen them and then we went to Austria for like my best friend's wedding but we drove down through Germany and I did vlog the whole trip but I didn't get round to editing any of the videos so I was thinking I might edit them and upload them this month in sort of like a series I might do them like daily um, like cut up into single day vlogs um, depending on how much footage I've got I can't really remember how much footage I've got but I'm going to try and edit those and upload these this month. I know that we went like in September and like August, September time. So it is a while ago. But I really, if I've got enough footage, I really want to upload those because it was a great trip and I'd love to share it with you. In 2018, again, I'd love to travel more. But again, 
it's financial constraints and everything so I will just see where the wind takes me this year I'm hoping again we can do another little city break together and my main aim is to be able to go to Canada so I need to price that up and see if that's at all feasible and then it'd be great if we can't do that to go on like a beachy holiday or if I won the lottery go on beach holiday and the Canada holiday and again at Christmas I do love getting away in December to like a really Christmassy place so if we could go anywhere like German Christmas markets again like we went to Berlin in 2015 if we could do anything like that again or like next on my hit list is maybe up Copenhagen at Christmas time um, yeah then my hopes for 2018 travel I don't know how much I'm going to be able to do because I don't know if I have the money to do any of those trips but I will see where the year takes me and if it's financially possible now to look forward to 2018 and things I kind of want to address or like, I don't know how to word it but like things that not resolutions I don't want to call them resolutions because then you fail at them <laughs> but um, yeah just a couple of things that I want to, I'm hoping for in 2018 so as usual there's always got to be a fitness one I think in 2017 it was the first year that I ever felt not quite comfortable with my body like all my clothes fit and everything but when I look in the mirror I don't look the same as I used to like as toned and whatever and it's because I don't exercise I did dabble in some exercising earlier on in the year and yeah I just didn't stick to it I'm not a gym person I can't no, I can't do that. I do like home workouts and I also tried a trampolining fitness class at the end of the year, like end of 2017 and um, I only managed to go to one but I'm hoping to book up more of those to like do like say one fun exercise class a week and then do like some other stuff. It's because I sit at a desk all day and I don't I can't get active I can't leave my desk during the day to just go in for a wander um, so, and like get some exercise in so yeah I think definitely I've started to notice that I don't look and feel the same way as I used to do when I just sat on my butt all day like at uni <laughs> so I think this year is definitely going to be a year when I actually need to put some effort into fitness and maintaining how I look and feel about my body it's not about weight like I don't we don't own scales in this house we don't. I don't know how much I weigh. I couldn't tell you. It's more how I look in the mirror and like, yeah, it's not at all about weight. It's just how I feel in myself compared to how I used to look in the mirror to myself, if that makes sense. Um, but yeah, that's my like fitnessy one. I also really want to push myself career wise. So in like the like nine to five sense, I want to push and achieve more because at the moment I feel like I'm kind of not achieving my potential so I really want to push myself this year and challenge myself to something like more if that makes sense I'm not going to go into it too much but yeah I just want to challenge myself more career wise in terms of my blog and YouTube I did mention in my post that I did in my blog last year um, that I wanted to push down my video editing skills and up like my equipment and everything for my like blog and videos and blah 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 and um, I do now have Premiere Pro and I'm teaching myself to edit with Premiere Pro rather than iMovie so I've pushed myself in that way and I, I want to like learn more of it and how to do newer things I was very impressed with myself when I like blurred some stuff out that was quite like a proud moment um but i i'd also i'd love to see like if i hear after effects to do like cool transitions because i think that's what you need to like to do tr cool transitions correct me if i'm wrong but um yeah i'd love to see if i could get after effects and like try out a bit more like cool editing so there's that on the editing side in terms of equipment i have bought myself a um, I mentioned in my previous video I bought a new vlogging camera so that's excellent news but with this sort of like sit down equipment I'd love if I could to get a like new lens to film with like sitting down lens and uh, sitting down lens like a for a video where I'm sitting like this a new lens and maybe a microphone and just up my 
equipment in that sense and for my blog I'd love to try like new styles of photography and like just a bit more like lifestyle photography and also definitely like a rebrand I've spoken to Luke and he he's a graphic designer Luke um, works as a graphic designer and does like branding for people and I've had a little sit down and had a little brainstorm about how he can like rebrand my blog for me and maybe build me a new blog so we're going to see if I can make that happen this year which would be great because my blogs just look the same for, for ages and I'd really love it to be a bit more dynamic and a bit more interesting and a bit more like different layouts and stuff so fingers crossed that that can happen this year and obviously in general for my blog and YouTube just get back to posting more because <laughs> really really need to. In relation to my blog and YouTube I again I, I constantly have like crisis of confidence or whatever you call it but where I feel like I should have achieved more with it I should have like done more with it I should have like because I see people who've been like blogging for less time than I have and they're like gone full time they're working with like the most amazing brands they're like going on all these amazing trips around the world and I know everything is not about numbers I know that but I do feel like I wish I'd created myself more of an audience in the time that I've been blogging and youtubing and I'd made a concerted effort to like grow my audience and reach more people and like make friendships through blogging and YouTube so in 2018 I'd love to be able to like grow my channels if that makes sense not in terms of because I want more likes and stuff like that but in terms of I'd love to feel like I've achieved more and like I've reached more people kind of thing and yeah I don't really know how to describe it other than that because I really as well I really want to engage with other people more because I think that's one of the things I haven't done enough I have I don't leave enough comments I don't leave enough like I don't tweet people enough I don't like I don't engage enough I can't get the like I can't expect people to see me if I'm not engaging enough with them if that makes sense and it's not like oh I need like a million subscribers I'm not talking about that I mean like I just want to feel like I've done more and my videos and my blog look better and they've progressed and I've got something to show for it kind of thing. Also I absolutely love to make some like YouTube or blogging friends like in real life because none of my friends blog or YouTube and I'd love to meet people and like share the same interest and know like how it is to make a video or blog post and all of that and maybe like learn from them and yeah just make some actual blogging friends <laughs> sounds a bit lame like oh I need some friends but it would just be so nice to actually have people that know what it's like to write a blog or like make a youtube channel and I could chat to like in real life or like go for coffee with or something like that so yeah that's a big hope for 2018 make some blogging slash youtubing friends <laughs> And the final topic to close on is things that I'm looking forward to in 2018 and that's most, at the moment I don't have any like set dates in, I don't have any weddings, I don't have, well not mine I don't mean, I mean like my, none of my friends are getting married this year and I don't have any holidays booked in but I am looking forward to another year in our little house and updating it, well not update, I don't know how to describe it but like decorating it and making it more our own and just being here together it's just nice and we've made a little plan that we're going to try and go somewhere new at least once a month not like a new country but like places we haven't explored in our local area and just see something new or go out for a day out or just do something so that we're not just sitting at home so I'm looking forward to that and hopefully some more travel and yeah whatever else 2018 brings I hope it doesn't bring any sadness like it has this year I'm really hoping for that so badly but um yeah I'm looking forward to 2018 and hopefully moving onward and upward and having some exciting moments that I'll never forget so I hope you have had a good 2017 and if you haven't then 
I hope you have a much better 2018 and if you have had a 20, good 2017 and I hope you also have a good 2018 I don't know how many numbers I've said I feel like I've lost count but yeah I feel like I've just mumbled on and waffled along so hopefully this has made sense and hasn't been too boring I just sort of do a little like sitting down chatting type video again I like chatting as you could probably tell um, but yeah <laughs> that is my roundup for the new year if you have liked this video please give it a thumbs up that would be great and if you aren't already subscribed if you could subscribe that would be a wonderful new year treat for me and if you already subscribed then thank you so much for coming back I say it every video but I really really appreciate anyone who leaves me a comment and anyone who like subscribes to my channel, anyone who watches my videos, anyone who likes anyone tweets when I'm trying to be funny and I'm really not. I just really want to say thank you to anyone who has like engaged with me this year and I need to make a concerted effort to like reply to comments on my channel and all of that and just say thank you to anyone who has put effort into me and my channels because I appreciate it so so much so thank you and hopefully i'll see you in my next video